Hi everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here, and this week we're talking about hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Now this therapy involves exposure to up to 100% oxygen at an atmospheric pressure that's greater than normal. Now of course we know about hyperbaric oxygen therapy in the context of the treatment of uh, decompression sickness, but lately it's been gaining a lot of momentum in the uh, autism community. Now the rationale here is that neuroinflammation, which is inflammation of the brain, uh, might be a key feature of autism and that hyperbaric oxygen therapy may help reduce this. Now the study we've linked to today sought to provide a bit of sense in this area by reviewing all the studies that looked at this therapy in the context of autism. Now what they found across the five studies that had conducted detailed trials in this area is that there is currently insufficient evidence so not enough evidence to recommend hyperbaric oxygen therapy um, for kids on the spectrum. Now and that really is our main takeaway point here, is that there isn't enough evidence to recommend hyperbaric oxygen therapy and until uh, such time as there is evidence, families will be best served using their resources elsewhere.